Welcome to this demonstration of public credentials on Kilt. Public credentials enable social interaction on NFTs across all blockchains. NFTs are unique digital assets that have become popular as a way for creators to sell their digital works of art, music and other creative content. Each NFT is linked to a smart contract sitting on a blockchain. The smart contract holds and manages information about that NFT, such as the artist, the NFT item and the owner. So if Mike looks at this NFT on a trading platform, he can see it was created by Haruto, is a manga NFT and is currently owned by Ben. But if Mike wants to let the world know that he likes the NFT, the smart contract doesn't provide a way to show that. This is where Kill takes the stage. With Kilt, Mike can add a comment or a like to the NFT. This is written to the Kilt blockchain as a public credential, containing information about the issuer, Mike, and the properties, alike. The credential is linked to this NFT no matter what blockchain the NFT is on. If Linda is interested in the NFT, she can check the information available. The marketplace will show the information from the smart contract of the NFT on one blockchain as well as the information from the public credential on the killed blockchain. When Linda buys the NFT, the smart contract information will then show her as the owner. Even when the ownership changes, the public credential stays linked to that NFT by design. This means that the social information remains attached to the corresponding NFT for everyone to see. This adds more utility to NFTs. But how does it work across all blockchains? And how does a public credential on Kilt link to an NFT on any chain? In short, thanks to asset DIDs. Every existing or future NFT automatically has an asset DID, no matter which blockchain the smart contract is on. Asset DIDs are unique identifiers and cross-chain by nature. They are made up of information about that NFT its chain ID, NFT standard ID, smart contract ID and NFT ID. With a unique asset DID, every individual NFT can be identified, regardless of whether its smart contract is located on the Ethereum blockchain, on the Polygon blockchain or on the Binance blockchain. Public credentials are linked directly to the asset DID of an NFT allowing many credentials to be linked to a single NFT. Ok, that's the background. Now let's see public credentials and asset DIDs in action on the Kiltagram demo. This is Kiltagram, a small demo built on Kilt to show the power of our concept of public credentials and asset DIDs to enable social interaction on NFTs across all blockchains. So what does Kiltagram do? First of all, it plays with NFTs, so we have to somehow connect it to an NFT. We could do that by entering an OpenSea URL or an asset DID, but let's use our MetaMask for now. When I click Connect to MetaMask, it pulls out the NFTs that are linked to this MetaMask account. Ok, let's play with the Harvesting Papa. When I click on it, the first thing we see is the asset DID of this NFT. The asset DID is a unique identifier of any object on a blockchain and it is cross-chain by nature. An asset DID of an NFT puts together the chain ID, the NFT standard ID, the smart contract ID and the NFT ID. Hence it enables identification of any existing but also any future NFT. So if we scroll down a bit we can see the ownership and item information pulled out from the smart contract of this NFT. If we scroll down a bit further, we also see some public credentials already created by others. Here we see likes and comments, each of them a public credential linked to the asset DID of this NFT, while a like on a comment is linked to the comments asset DID. Now let's create a new comment ourselves. First we select our payment account. Then we scroll down to the comment field, write a comment, and post it. No sporran comes up and I can sign the comment and then sign the transaction.
In the background, Kiltogram puts together a public credential that consists of the DID of the demo account, the comment itself, and the asset DID of the NFT. Now my comment got posted. It shows the Web3 name of our demo account. And of course, we can find out the DID of our demo account here. We move over to W3N ID and fetch the DID of the signer. Back to Kiltogram, because I want to show you one more thing. Any object on any blockchain has an asset DID. Our comment that we just made has an asset DID and that means we can add another object to it. A like for example. Because we don't want to like our own comment, we select a different account first. Now I go back to the comment and add a like to it. Put in my password for this account and sign the transaction. Kiltagram again puts together a public credential with the DID of this account, with the property like and with the asset DID of the comment. Now I have one like. This was basically it. It shows how easy it is to build some kind of social network on NFTs using public credentials and asset DIDs. Now you've seen Kilt public credentials in action. Let's recap how Kilt enables social interaction on NFTs. A smart contract on any blockchain is essential for managing NFTs ownership information, but is otherwise fairly limited in its functionality. Kilt adds utility to NFTs and enables users to socially interact on NFTs using public credentials. Public credentials are written to the Kilt blockchain and linked to an NFT on any blockchain via that NFT's asset DID. There is no limit to the number of public credentials you can add to an NFT. Public credentials add valuable information to an NFT and are linked to that NFT even if the owner changes. So that means anyone with a Kilt DID can add any information to any NFT. Any existing or future NFT automatically has a unique asset DID. The system works on any blockchain and any smart contract. The social information of an NFT is immutable and available to anyone. Thanks for your interest in public credentials and asset DIDs. Now check out the website at Kilt.io and discover more about Kilt and decentralized identity today.